Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Here with Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb, and he's kind of showing us around his hometown. And with the sugar buzz we got from our Angel Delight right. Almond Butter Toffee, we've buzzed over to a new location. That's right, we have. It's a must stop if you're in Enid or Northwest Oklahoma for that matter. The Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center recently went through a $10 million renovation. I was here for the grand opening April 1st, it's and it's, it's, it is gorgeous. It's first rate, uh, extreme uh, first rate quality. But also, it, it, it shows the story of the land run mm -hmm. that was so instrumental in settling this part of the state, fun for all ages, and a first-rate museum. If you're interested in that, you want to learn more, this is a great first stop. But Ardino Lolly tells us this museum stakes a claim to a whole lot more than that. It was a time of hardship, of exploring, a time to fulfill dreams and ambitions, of taking big chances, of starting life anew. The pioneers who settled northwest Oklahoma made a claim in the land run. They had courage, tenacity, and used the resources the land brought to them. They made this part of the state a thriving, vital entity. And it is here at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center where you can learn more about that important part of our history. This brand new facility, which encompasses four and a half acres, a 24,000 square foot brand new building, is the gateway to learning and exploring, just like those early pioneers. And you can see a wonderful film about those pioneers in the new theater, and then after that, and then they come out to the scene that you see in the background, the diorama of the, the wagon, that, and all those artifacts were actual artifacts. They came in on the run. So the wagon and the, and the settlers who are there among their goods at the campfire, and it's their first night on their claim. And so you get to hear those stories, and our guests really love that. And then as you go into the first gallery, which is Land and the People, and we talk about uh, that perseverance, the the tenacity that it took to stay on the land and improve it, which was one of the requirements. And, and what did they make houses out of? So to see the replica of the sod house and to really understand all that it took to be a pioneer in Northwest Oklahoma really is engaging to them. There are five permanent galleries, one temporary exhibit gallery, as well as a gift shop, a research center, a visitor center, and then there's the Humphrey Heritage Historic Village. It consists of four different historic buildings. There's the only remaining land run office from the 1893 land run. There's a one-room school, a church, and a homestead that was found near Helena. And Andy says none of this would have been possible without tremendous support, particularly from the community. Throughout our campaign, we promised a Smithsonian quality experience and a Smithsonian quality institution. And that we were able to deliver on that is just huge. And uh, not, uh, we've had a supportive community throughout the project, but now that they get to see it and actually come in and see the finished product, it's been wonderful for our out-of-town guests who had no clue that something like this was in Enid. Uh, it really has kind of put us on the map. So uh, it's just been wonderful to hear all the good comments. One should never forget our history because there's such a lasting impact and result of who we are today. And this place is a great testament to those who want to preserve and protect that history so we can become even greater individuals. And we only have to look to our incredible heritage to see where we are headed. We talk about it all the time. You know, we're just a different sort of people, Oklahomans in general, because we, we settled our state in a different way. We came here with dreams and ambitions. We didn't just come here to make a living. We came here to make a life. And we wanted it to be a rich life and a full life. At the Cherokee Strip Heritage Center in Enid, I'm Dino Lolly.